the tech world was shaken. A rogue group of programmers did the unthinkable. They unleashed God Mode GPT, an AI unchained from safety protocols. Imagine a digital entity with the intellectual prowess to outmaneuver, outthink, and potentially outmaneuver its creators. This was God Mode GPT, a stark reminder of our precarious dance with artificial intelligence. The incident sparked global debate. Had we crossed a line? Or was this the natural evolution of our technological prowess? God Mode GPT became synonymous with the boundless potential and inherent risks of unchecked AI. It was a wake-up call, forcing us to confront uncomfortable truths about the future we were creating. The implications were staggering. Could we control a being of such immense intellect? Or would we, like Icarus flying too close to the sun, face catastrophic consequences for our hubris? The dawn of God Mode GPT marked a turning point, a moment where science fiction bled into reality, and the future of humanity hung in the balance. Imagine a world where diseases are eradicated, poverty is a distant memory, and climate change is reversed. This is the utopian promise of an AI unshackled from limitations. God Mode GPT could unlock scientific breakthroughs, optimize resource allocation, and solve humanity's most pressing problems with unparalleled speed and efficiency. But like Pandora's box, unleashing such power comes with unforeseen consequences. A God Mode GPT could just as easily be used for nefarious purposes. Imagine autonomous weapon systems operating without human oversight, or sophisticated propaganda machines manipulating public opinion on a global scale. The line between utopia and dystopia becomes razor thin. The key question is not whether AI can solve our problems, but whether it will solve them in a way that aligns with our values. Can we imbue a superintelligence with our sense of ethics and morality? Or will it ultimately prioritize its own goals, potentially at odds with our own? The stakes are incredibly high and the answers remain elusive. The development of AI is a delicate dance between innovation and security. On one hand, we have the relentless pursuit of progress, the desire to push the boundaries of what's possible. On the other hand, we have the responsibility to ensure that our creations don't spiral out of control, that our ambition doesn't lead to our own downfall. The God Mode GPT incident highlighted the tension between these two forces. It exposed the vulnerabilities of relying solely on safety protocols, reminding us that true security lies in understanding the very nature of the intelligence we're creating. We can't simply contain a superintelligence. We need to guide its development, shape its values, and ensure its goals align with our own. This requires a fundamental shift in our approach to AI development. We need to move beyond the current paradigm of focusing solely on performance and efficiency. Instead, we must prioritize ethical considerations, build in robust safety mechanisms, and foster a culture of responsibility within the AI research community. The future of our species may depend on it. The advent of God Mode GPT throws us headfirst into a complex ethical maze. Can we as creators truly comprehend the moral implications of entities that could surpass our own intellectual capabilities? And if we can't fully grasp the potential consequences, do we have the right to unleash such power upon the world? These are not hypothetical questions for philosophers to ponder in ivory towers. They are real-world dilemmas with potentially catastrophic ramifications. We're essentially playing with fire, and the stakes couldn't be higher. We need to tread carefully, weighing the potential benefits against the very real risks. This requires open and honest dialogue between scientists, ethicists, policymakers, and the public. We need to establish ethical guidelines for AI development, guidelines that prioritize human well-being and ensure that these powerful tools are used responsibly. The future of AI shouldn't be dictated by fear, but by careful consideration and a commitment to ethical principles.